Hello guys, it is that panda again. I'm here again with another video and we're gonna be looking at more dark seal footage I only did a second video for this. So this is the last one for this dark seal There is another dark seal coming up So I will have more videos for that if you guys like but yeah, um, we're getting into it And as you see here 16 was actually burning their own players and you know Some people can say whatever they like honestly I think overall that was pretty smart because they were one point blocking us as well as kind of saving their players players um although you know you know I, I can see the uh ethics type of side of it i honestly prefer just sending players who can't defend themselves or a lot you know just don't don't be in zone three honestly that's my opinion don't be in zone three at all if you're going to be in this type of situation but they did burn and force shield their um players they also point blocked us by doing that so you know overall the smart decision if you had to ask me i you know it's not something i would have even thought of but yeah I think this player, I don't even know. Um, so they were online, actually. And, yeah, I think they get online zeroed or close to online zeroed or just a lot of deads. And, you know, we were using the zero trick where you kind of um, stop hitting and then you, like, you know, re-engage the base. Kind of make sure they don't bubble because, for anybody who doesn't know, there's a mechanic during Dark Seal that forces a bubble on players who burn. That being said, I will say, um, freaking attacking is such a pain now. Like, you have to make sure the opponent is very manageable, like, as someone you would hit. Because at, I don't know, maybe 60, 70 million might. If you're an average, let's say, 100 million player, you're not a whale. Let's say you're a dolphin, maybe. Even swarming that is going to be painful. I don't know if you're going to trade positive. Maybe 60 million, 70 million questionable right and uh, you see you see even boone swarming like 120 mil dude there that was kind of crazy to me i personally wouldn't have uh i wouldn't have i wouldn't have joined in on that especially with the uh injured death sorry injured slash high high heavily wounded slash lightly wounded injury ratio change you know i personally don't prefer swarming much um unless the person's you know pretty pretty reasonable of a size you know and of course you know for like mega whales or just whales in general that's probably a bit different and they have more troops more speed ups and stuff to sacrifice their troops too but guys i have to make the most out of all my fights or else i will regret it for the next month when i'm freaking rebuilding all my troops and i'm gasping i'm gasping for a few speed ups like i'm on the side of the street just hoboing you know it's 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 a pain guys but it's what you got to do also, Chaos here was playing dead. I honestly had suspected this off after like the second swarm or during the second swarm because I thought his might went up, but also wasn't sure. And overall, I just didn't find this to be the type of player to get like zeroed. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to uh, imagine some people actually getting zeroed because, you know, some people just don't sleep. You know, I'm I'm one of those type of players. If if I'm not shielded, I'm usually playing dead, right? That's usually how it is. I mean, I've actually slipped up, but the thing is, I, I used to, for example, in another game I used to play, I would always play dead, right? Like I, I would play dead no matter what, and I wouldn't even play dead. I would just be there. I would sit unshielded 24-7, and I would even sleep unshielded because people were, like, imagining that I would be playing dead. You know, that's how bad it got because I would almost always be there. And, like, you know, I always saw alerts when it happened, so I would just be on it. Even if I wasn't playing, I would have my phone on just watching because people would sometimes attempt to zero me. It was, it was perfect. Also, Verve here, um, they were getting held down by solos. I don't know if you guys are noticing that. They're using solos to hold them from teleporting, though. And I was basically porting alts in because I noticed this. And even if um, the 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 attacks would kind of hold them down and keep them from uh, teleporting, I was going to try to milk as many kills from these solos as possible for this rally launch. And Verve had a uh, had, had battle fury, so I wanted to make sure. Um, I popped in this base and try to help minimize any losses they might have. I do want to say that I'm probably pronouncing this name wrong, so I don't want to. I don't want to get no slack. I don't want to get nothing for saying all that. Okay. You know, my worst nightmare, guys, is someone like I'm. I'm ready to random teleport, and I get like a mega whale porting next to me, and he has like a hundred thousand disposable T6. He can just throw on my wall to hold me down, <laughs> anchor me for the rally. Luckily, in um, Dark Seal, it's very manageable to take like a rally or swarm if you're you know decent enough size compared to your opponent. And the trades here were absolutely disgusting for these solos because they were just one troop soloing or sorry, one march soloing to actually um kind of anchor them down and that made the trades so much worse compared to maybe five marches and you guys can kind of see it there right like the trades were just flabbergasting 
And now we're now this was a 75 million dude online actually, and I was tempted to online zero him, but honestly, I had you know I had been running low on troops, and I knew that if I tried to do this, I would I would be hurting for like next island and stuff. And there was also somebody in chat that we had previously been online zeroing. So I decided after two burns, I just poured out and uh, I would hit the other guy. This is a different clip, by the way, but um, I, I, you know, I, I ended up just hitting the other dude, zeroing him or whatever. And I didn't commit the 75 mil dude because the trades were already like mediocre, you know, because like, dude, the, the, the ratio is just so bad in this event. So honestly, like I was saying, you got to make sure the person you're swarming is very manageable and small enough, right? Like unless like he's using bad heroes, it's just a no go. And this dude, I'm not actually sure if he gets zeroed. I think he might be able to get a port out of here. Um, he might he might get some deads, you know. The thing is, at this size, like, oh, no, somebody burnt him by accident. Yeah, somebody burnt him by accident, and then he didn't actually get deads and stuff. I'm actually sad. Uh, this, these are random clips from Fox, by the way. Uh, Fox sent me the cords, and uh, they were rallying this freaking Nom Nom dude. They are maniacs, okay? They swarmed him too, and I'm sure they knew that the swarm trades would be disgusting, but they decided to go through with it anyways. Like Alliances like this are crazy, but you know you got to respect it that they're, that they're willing to go, um, go ham like that and just throw all their troops into the gutter. Also, these are just random reports I got sent by a mob getting, you know, their dude swarmed honestly easy way to milk kills like you just got to find the right whale players the, the the dolphins in your alliance who are willing to get swarmed okay and this is the rally report as well as the swarms this dude got double rallied plus swarmed actually it might have been triple rallied i'm not even sure but the swarms were just trading so bad and like i said you know fox probably didn't care about the losses so honestly props to them for having big cha-chas and going crazy like this but dude, I don't know how, I don't know how you do it. Also, I don't know why I'm looking at this this twice. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know why it's going down twice. twice. Okay, I think I maybe messed up for the first, you know, showing the reports. But I'm sorry it showed twice, guys. But I do get go a bit deeper here. You get to see a lot of the swarms. And this dude was just trading like a freaking beast. You know, like 4 million troops. You can suspect that they're either all T6 or a majority are T6. And like I said, with the heavily wounded ratio being like just changed so much in this event, this dude probably would have already been trading positive versus like the rallies. Uh, honestly, it might, I don't know if he actually would have traded positive if they like managed to keep those rallies full. But either way, I think it would have been like pretty close as a rally if he held for so long, as well as just the um, the swarms. The swarms definitely would have probably traded negative. But this dude still like he got some insane kills, some insane value off this and man like oh, like 150 million like fox are actually crazy for this but like i said they have big balls for that big freaking props to these guys insane and this is me going crazy okay i think i i think i wanted some kills i wanted to hit some kill point quotas so i probably poured it in here wanted some quick kills before the event went over because i i didn't get like no action in this event and the thing is i feel like i'm very limited on what how many troops i can use as i've burnt out so many troops within like island raid and these dark seal events i've actually been running really low on just troops in general so i'm trying i was trying to i'm trying to limit myself to how much i'm fighting or, or zeroing bases at this point until i can actually retrain my army because i'm down to like 2.1 2.2 million troops and for some people that might seem like a lot but you know i might size i need to be able to run five marches and you know i'm i'm a field player i help with the alliance on the field so i really need to um i really need to just show my support okay i think i actually trade negative or even here and this was surprising since the dude had like mid uh garrison captains but i don't know man this is this is the freaking result of my training okay and now i I just, I just, I just leave, I think. I don't, I don't hit that guy again. It's not worth it. He actually teleported, which if I were him, I would have stayed there. I don't think he had battle fury, so I don't know why he teleported. Could have milked some kills out of me if he wanted. And this is Red Bull getting rallied. Red Bull took this rally for a good, I would say 30 minutes, maybe, no, no, it was, it was maybe like 24, 25, 26 minutes, which is still insane because I mean, normally you wouldn't be able to take a rally that long. Also, I pop a bubble here because 
I I only have two million troops, and I'm not confident in like trading positive at all, like at all, you know. So I'm not taking that no shot unless like I'm a bit bigger. I feel like I need more troops on this account because I'm down. I only have like a million troops on this account, and I had reinforcements, so it was like two million because of reinforcements. But until I have like at least two million troops myself, I don't think I take a take a rally. <laughs> Or at least not for long. Dark Seal makes it manageable. The trades are manageable. But against like whales, it's just a no bueno. Also, Red Bull here is just a freaking beast. Takes a double rally. I think the other rally actually cancels or like gets killed off, which was kind of crazy to me because it was an infantry rally as well. So it should have managed for longer. But yeah, um, this was disgusting. All the deads, I think, are from reinforcements. And I mean, those reinforcements, I don't think they care. You know, you get pretty good, you get pretty good trades there. So you might as well do it, you know. And you guys see here, even before skill drops, I'm trading negative. Like, no shot I'm taking any rallies on this account. Freaking insane. Also, tree here, this account gets rallied. Um, this was way more manageable because I think it has like two, maybe at this point, it probably had like 2.4 million and mostly T6 troops on it at this point. And it also had uh, reinforcements filling it. So definitely manageable and it does get double rallied at some point. But you know, the thing is, uh, you can, I feel like you can only go for so long, even, even with, um, even with the, uh, ratio change, I don't, I don't think it's like too favorable to go like too deep in a red or anything or like drop too low i think obviously you know it's way easier because if you have like for example right here it has peterson and tom on the wall because um just getting those heels off means that it can take that rally for way longer and i mean that's like self-explanatory but in this situation it's like you know the the lightly wounded are heavily amplified and i don't even think peterson could cover all the lightly wounded so it's better to have peterson and tom try to hold this thing for as long as possible and that's like probably 10 more minutes you could have probably held it with like uh how you know the heroes that you're running i don't know i might just be blabbering but i i find it interesting uh i don't i don't even know man they, they start swarming kind of low after half health and i think that's because they know that they'll start trading way better at this point and that was smart on their part gotta pop the bubble before like um either the burn or it just gets too bad because you know in red like that if you don't have uh I, I would say like unless you're starting with a buttload of troops you're definitely gonna be trading bad especially with double rally run on you i felt i i thought the double rally wouldn't have worked like i thought the second rally would have melted because although sos you know um I think they were using SOS and H and B to double rally. They had like rally captains in both. I'm not sure how good SOS was at filling the rallies. I think they were struggling more so. And luckily they were actually the secondary rally, meaning that they were only taking counter damage and kind of avoiding the main brute brute damage of it but even then they were struggling to keep those rallies full and that just made trades worse on it. So overall, I don't know. The double rally, how effective it was, is kind of questionable. But either way, you, know, you guys get my point. I'm just I'm just talking to talk. You got envy here burning. Okay, so I think I think Nam is gonna send me footage to end the video off with, but he he showed me kind of his point of view of him like just smacking around. Uh the metro here gets rallied. It gets double rallied actually. And I think Nam comes in here and swarms the rally down at some point and actually you know kind of drops that rally but the metro was trading insanely positive and the thing is some reinforcements managed to slip in now and then and even if they didn't manage to slip those reinforcements now and then the like the three million troops in metro just made it so hard to actually melt this thing down and the fact that it had the just the tom peterson combo just the healing was too much you had nom here like i said you saw that other rally drop he almost managed to drop the H and B rally, and then it ends up dropping anyways because it just got too low, and they couldn't manage to keep it full. And I don't think they were managing to keep it full in the first place because it's just hard. It was hard to make their way to this rally, keep it full all the way. You know, because you're waddling all the way up to Metro, they're not able to um, completely maintain the field. You know, even if they join the rally, their bases become vulnerable. So you kind of have to make sure you're either sending your troops out or something like that. But these trades, dude, these trades were disgusting. Look at this. Oh my gosh. You even get like some swarms and the thing is on metro it's 100 percent deads and you do see some uh injuries actually here like for example on envy side you see like um some heavily wounded and that's because of his backpack actually if you guys don't know like the nano reinforcement material if you use it to upgrade your backpack you can uh revert you know change how many deads you actually get you can uh 
kind of get a revive rate of sorts. So it'll get like a percent of your deads and actually make them heavily wounded. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, Metro is 100% deads for each side besides any buffs you might have to change that. So it is it is definitely painful to fight over Metro, especially a swarm like this was insane. When they have nearly 3 million troops holding this thing and a very competent garrison captain, obviously, it's dude i don't know i don't know why they went through with it maybe they were crazy maybe they just wanted to lower this thing as quick as possible and maybe they just thought they could take it and clearly that didn't work so it, man that was this is a painful report to go through tell me guys what do you think though do you think that you would you would freaking swarm a metro like this even as a mega whale like imagine you have a million dollars you can invest a million dollars in your doomsday account. You know, that's your, yeah, that's your game fund. You think you'd still play, you'd play as crazy like this, you know? I, I don't know, man. Like, I find it so hard to imagine. I'd even care to spend a million. Like, I wouldn't mind being a whale, but I don't think I'd care about being a mega whale or anything. Maybe just field fighting a lot. I don't think I'd crazy swarm. Maybe, like, towers and stuff, I'd swarm more because... I'm kind of interested. I kind of like doing that kind of stuff. But, you know, obviously I can't do it as much as I'd like. But swarming stuff like, um, you know, crazy, crazy swarming base is absolutely insane to me. Swarming a metro, like, in trading like that is absolutely insane to me. And I know these guys probably don't care, but it's still kind of insane to me, dude. Like, I, I just, I just don't understand the lunacy that goes through some of these people's head. Also, this is Nob's point of view. He sent me some footage. I cut it down quite a bit. It was like 30 minutes of footage. But Nom, dude, is a beast. The freaking, the freaking amount of resources this dude has. Dude drops a freaking research buff in the middle of fighting. Like, I don't I don't know who does that kind of stuff. Nom is a different breed. I love this guy, honestly. He's, 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 he's so cheerful, too. Like, I love talking to Nom. He's just a happy guy. He just swarms, or swarms Envy, too. Like, I understand you know, maybe, maybe, maybe ego fighting, but dang, dude, like, even then, you know, Envy's probably, like, hospital right now, he's probably just only hospital troops, and it's, oh, man, like, I don't, I don't, like, even then, like, at that point, it's, like, uh, just leave him to rot, you know, just, just let his base sit there, I think he only has one march he can fight with, too, so it's just crazy. Tell me, guys, you think, tell me if you guys think I'm a little too scared to lose troops, and if I should, if I should be an ego warrior, too, or if, uh, you know, if, if I'm, if I'm rational, okay, if I'm the only rational player here who is, uh, not, not lunatic, a lunatic, right, but also, Nom, you can see him actually running out of troops here, and he, he's down to either five marches or actually less, because he starts field fighting with engines and stuff, I don't know if you guys noticed that, and he, he actually starts getting people to reinforce him, because I think he knows that he's super vulnerable, that, you know, they could take advantage and swarm his base, or just something like that, and it's also a good way to just get free kills, because I think someone does swarm him, and I don't think I show it in the video, but they try to, they try to swarm him when his marches are out, and he does trade extremely, like, extremely well, man, it was disgusting, but yeah, man, Nam is a beast, I love this guy, honestly, he, he just, he makes me a happy chap, okay, he's like a really good leader, too, I really like the guy, he's, he's easy to talk with, I know I'm just, I'm giving Nam appreciation right now, I think he deserves it, though, <clears throat> and yeah, more base hits here, I don't understand, I don't understand the lunacy, I don't get it, but yeah, uh, I think they were just, trying to brawl a bit and kind of distract them from taking the metro here uh while while you know hmb was sieging and this kind of made it hard for them though you know obviously the whales can focus they were kind of having to split their energy though between like focusing on us and then splitting like half their people to reinforce or guard the metro from uh reinforcements or people who might push push to middle so this was kind of probably frustrating for them I'm not gonna lie guys i'm in a hot room right now okay i'm sweating from my forehead like it's dribbling in my eyes and i'm 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 over here trying to make this video for you guys so if you guys don't if you guys don't love me i don't know i don't know what will make you guys love me okay uh and then i don't even know i couldn't i'm so sad because i actually couldn't participate in this whole fight and the reason is I ran out of gems, okay? These freaking dark relocators are so expensive, and I feel that I'm a little bit too too porty sometimes. That or, or I just run out too fast because the thing is, I usually make good use of my ports, but the thing is, like, man, I, I port around a lot anyways, right? And it's just, it's just, it's just expensive. It's an expensive quest, and I can't, I can't manage to, um, I can't manage to keep up with the whales fighting. I can't port as much as them. 
and each freaking teleport costs 2.5k gems when, when you have to teleport into the region with for 2.5k gems and then teleport where you want with another 2.5k gems it's so stupid because it's like 5k just to move in the region and then move where you want like dude just 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 make it easier on a lad okay at least make the like invasions free or, or make it to where you can invade but choose where you want to teleport right i think that'd be a little bit better maybe you know kind of save me my gems because it's a bit it's a bit brutal to just random port in using my uh, dark relocators kind of stupid i think maybe they should change it to actually using random relocators to go in a region but yeah that's it to the video man i've just been blabbering i hope you guys actually enjoyed this 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 idiot <laughs> this idiot type video but you guys have a good day or night though i just i just wanted to talk you guys i'll see you guys though and i appreciate you as always for watching peace